So to do that, basically what we want to do is pick a side. right? Pick a side to simplify first. It doesn't matter what side you want to simplify. Um, and basically, guys, these are both rational expressions. They both look about the same. right? I would say, if knowing what I kind of know, I'm going to pick the left side. And it doesn't matter if you want to pick the right side and start doing something on the right side. Again, as long as you're doing operations that just simplify, you're not going to change the actual answer. Yes, Kiana. OK. So the reason why I chose the left side is because I see that this has a um, binomial in the denominator. And I know from rationalizing the denominator, I can multiply this by 1 plus sign. And if I multiply this to 1 plus sign, that gives me a difference of two squares. That's going to give me sine squared, and that's going to be a Pythagorean identity. So let me show you what I mean. So if I multiply this by 1 plus sine of x over 1 plus sine of x, as long as I multiply something on the top and the bottom by the same number, I'm not changing the answer, am I? No. OK. So therefore, I'm going to leave this as is. I have 1 plus sine of x. I could distribute it, but I'm just going to leave it right now out. This becomes cosine of x. And then this becomes 1 minus sine squared of x. Would everybody agree with me? Difference of two squares, middle terms cancel to 0 or add to 0. So I just have this. Yeah. Would everybody agree with me? It's OK if you don't agree. I'll explain it. So we're OK. Now, notice how I'm showing my work, because this is how I'm going to expect you to show your work. I did a process. I did an equal sign. You don't need to rewrite the right side. Just leave it blank. We're working in vertical methods, vertical technique. Now, what else can I do? Oh, I found something that's squared. Again, this comes into my um, practice of doing these, or my, what should we call it? Not practice, my experience. experience, that's it. So we have sine squared. How could I rewrite sine squared? What could I rewrite that as? Well, what's your Pythagorean identity? Sine squared plus cosine squared equals? One. one. So if you subtract a sine squared on both sides, you'd have cosine squared equals? One. One minus sine squared. So therefore, I have 1 plus sine of x times cosine of x. This, using my Pythagorean identities, is cosine squared of x. So 1 minus sine of x squared is Doesn't make sense? You have your Pythagorean identities out. So if I subtract a sine squared, yes, Kevin? I'm listening. Those out? The problem is you can't do that because, well, first of all, why would you, if you did that, then you'd just be left with cosine, which doesn't equal the right side anyways. right? So that's not going to help you out anyways. You want to show that the left side is equal to the right side. But the reason why you can't do what you're saying is because they're separated by addition and subtraction. You can only do the division property when terms are separated by multiplication, which I'm about to show you. Because I'm assuming, does that make sense? Cosine squared, is that? Yeah. Okay. What does cosine squared of x really represent? That really represents 1 plus sine of x times cosine of x all over cosine of x times cosine of x. Now, I want you to notice, actually, I'll put this in red. Do you see how these terms are now separated by multiplication? Now, since they're separated by multiplication, you can do exactly what you just said. I can divide them out. And look what I'm left over with. You guys see that? OK, hold on one second. Let me just finish it. So what I like to write is 1 plus cosine over cosine of x equals, and then I'll just draw a nice little finger. That is how I expect your work to be done. You don't need to show me every single step like I did. Um, but I do need to be able to follow you mathematically to make sure you arrived at it. So that's how I'd expect your work on a test. That's how I'd expect your work on your homework. OK, Andrew? Yes.
times the sine square of theta, theta would be this. Uh -huh. this bag, plus cosine <laughs> square of theta equal to <laughs> Who took the one time to think of all this? this. Somebody shut off the camera. So what's your question?